Hi guys, thanks for joining me again today. It's Mitch from Smart PE, and today we're going to be looking at the protocol associated with the Harvard Step Test. Now this test itself measures cardiovascular fitness or aerobic endurance and involves an athlete stepping up and down on a bench once every two seconds for five minutes. As soon as they finish, they must record their heart rate during recovery for three minutes at minute one, minute two and minute three. That data must then be put in an equation to work out their score. And the equation is 30,000 divided by pulse one plus pulse two plus pulse three. But it's really important you notice the brackets. Pulse one plus pulse two plus pulse three must be done first. And once you have that score, it's then 30,000 divided by the total of those three figures. All those pulses are, are obviously the heart rate that is achieved at minute one, minute two and minute three during recovery. OK, let's take a look at the normative data table below. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to read the scenario at the bottom of the page and link it to that normative data table to give Joe a rating for his Harvard step test score. As always, highlight any information you think is useful in the question and also in the data table itself. OK, press pause now and have a go and see if you can work it out. OK, let's look at the answer. So the score that you should have got. Joe's score for the Harvard step test was incredibly high. It was 92. So I'm looking for that data range in the normative data table. Now, if I look at excellent, that funny little triangle on the side pointing towards 90 means greater than 90. And we know his score is 92. So I would highlight the 90 and I would also highlight the rating above just to make sure when I transfer it into my question, I don't actually misinterpret it or write the wrong rating down. If you're able to do that, the correct rating is excellent overall. Scan another QR code to find out about another fitness test.